Greetings Creepers, this is Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor from DailyNightmare.com, and Happy Knife and I are extremely excited to be opening up this package. And I realize I say that frequently, but this is something, honestly, I've been looking forward to for several months. Uh, this is a painting I had commissioned from uh, Menton Matthews III, Menton III, uh, he's known uh, primarily for, for his artwork, uh, for his uh, comic work. Um, he and David Stupakas had a group show, a, a, a duo show. Well, what's the right word for that? He and David Stupakas had a show at uh, Last Rites Gallery earlier last year um, called The Kindly Ones, based on the fates uh, uh, from Greek mythology. Um, and alas, uh, it was sold out on opening night, don't you know? Uh, even if I could have gotten to New York City to see the show, I did get in on the Kickstarter to get uh, my, a copy of the book, which I hope to see soon, uh, and I will un unbox it like this. Um, but what I did do is I talked to the gallery, uh, and uh, they talked to him, and uh, we were able to commission a painting from him. And uh, it was kind of charming, actually, because he, he writes back and says, well, well, what are three paintings you like? And, and so I... Um, I may even include this in the show notes because I sort of waxed effusively about three of my favorite paintings of his. Uh, and he uh, replied saying, okay, that's cool, but you know, those are three totally different paintings. And yes, I realized I was not giving him any um, actual ideas for the, uh, uh, for the piece. So I said, um, how about some of the stuff with magic and I'd like a male figure? Um, um, that, that, that's, that's basically how it came down to, so be a dude with some hoodoo uh, is how it worked out. Um, and I said, honestly, no hurry, life is, uh, life is long, art is, uh, life is short, life is, art is long. Uh, so so do, do what you want with it. Um, and, and through various other little things, uh, they shifted to me. I thought I was going to be able to pick it up in Chicago, that's where he is based. Um, but... Uh, I just had it shipped to me. It is not, so that is what is in this wonderful package. And I'm gonna start cutting um, as I chat more. I was kind of hoping I could pick it up uh, at, at his gallery space because he's in the midst of opening um, Chicago's, well, I was gonna say Chicago's first devoted gallery, uh, devoted to the Dark art, for lack of a better name. Uh, that, that I don't know if that's actually uh, the the best description, at least of Menton's work. He, uh, um, you know, how, how in art there are different genres. You know, there's landscape, there's portrait, there's still life, that kind of thing. I, th I find Menton's work more um, more fits with a a genre that um, you don't see very much anymore. Uh, it, we we lost, I think, pretty much in the modern era, uh, which is uh, alle uh, allegorical painting or Honestly, almost religious painting. Um, his his, his uh, figures have um, far more import than just the material world. I, for a while, I was calling it maybe uh, the artwork of dark interiority. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, contemporary uh, magical um, religious art, maybe? I don't know. Um, categories are always so weird. They're sort of like what you need when you go to the record shop and try to find out what what you uh, want to hear. But in the in the digital era, you get to see stuff. You don't need to necessarily have labels. Um, I am un unwrapping it, and it is beautifully packaged, as I would expect. Uh, look at this. Yeah. And there's more in bubble wrap, and it's the big bubble wrap. Frankly, the stuff that gives you the good, satisfying pop as you crack it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I realized I didn't finish my sentence about that. Uh, uh, Menton and some other artists have started a, uh, I think, a really clever idea. That, um, it's a it's a gallery in tattoo space in um, New York. I'm sorry, in Chicago. It's exciting because it's in Chicago because there's not a lot of outlets for uh, this dark interiority stuff. I love the business model because you get tattoo folks making a little bit of um, you know 
daily cash flow, and they're thinking of having like a show every couple months, maybe even a season, you know, which would be a great idea because, I mean, man, um, it's a trek for me to get to some of these big cities. And if it's the, and I really regret not being able to see the Kindly One show because that's the only time in history when those paintings will be together in the same room. Um, I missed out on that. Uh, I really like the idea that, that they're going to have shows that last for a little while so I can arrange my schedule to go and see them. The gallery is opening, I believe, May 6th. That's the public opening. Um, I just couldn't wait, so I uh, I asked if they could ship this. And um, that is uh, our, my piece. Oh, this is great. Um, it's using uh, imagery I can tell from, from some of his earlier, from his other pieces. I love the sigil in the back there. Oh, yeah. I've got little bits of, of styrofoam, alas, on it. How cool. It is oil on on panel. And that is a that is a an awesome piece. I've run out of words to describe this. Um, I am extremely happy. Uh, I will be hanging this right over there. I, I planned out where I was gonna keep it when he when he messaged me on Facebook with a with a thumbnail of it and uh, the dimensions, and I figured that's the wall right there. I may include a picture of it when I when I get it all uh, hung and ready. So this is again Dr. Leach, the Leach Doctor from DailyNightmare.com. This is the first time I've ever uh, commissioned an art um, an artist to do something. I've commissioned artisans to do stuff. I've I've, I've had because uh, um, I, I have particularly weird tastes, and so I, when I know folks who are doing stuff like what I'm interested in. Uh, I can, I saw, I've sometimes asked them, hey, could you do something similar? I have never asked an artist to, to paint me a picture. This is, um, this is remarkable. This is something I can live with, which is what art should do, right? It's something, uh, you're inviting somebody into your house, into your home, uh, something that's going to be a part of your life, something that's going to live with you and grow with you. This is really intriguing. I'll talk to you soon.